Hi all, I would like to show you one of the more outrageously elegant Mikhail Tal games and curiously Mikhail Tal's opponent remains anonymous and that's usually given NN it's a Latin abbreviation but sometimes people think of it as NN as in no name simply uh, so basically Mikhail Tal this is apparently played in 1963 Mikhail Tal with the white pieces plays E4 his opponent played C5 the attacking players have a great reputation of smashing up Sicilian defences and this game may be interesting from that perspective. Knight f3, we see d6, open Sicilian, knight f6, knight c3, a6, and now bishop g5, e6, f4, b5. And we enter into a very, very interesting variation of the Sicilian, which Grandmaster Polgiavsky did a lot of research on. In fact, I had one of his laboratory books where he showed his evolution of this system called the Polgiavsky variation of the Sicilian. And the point is black takes on e5 here and it looks dangerous with this pin, but now has a very interesting resource available in queen c7. The idea is that if white now takes on f6, then there's queen e5 check picking up that bishop. And it's a very, very interesting line, but you really need to be well prepared if you're going to play this with black because white still has like a very dangerous initiative uh, in this game actually Mikhail Tal plays queen e2 so he's preserving his dark square bishop we see knight fd7 and now with pressure on e5 in fact the e5 pawn is left to be taken white just castles queenside and there's classic coordination here of attacking pieces uh, this would be a very poisonous pawn to take in this position black actually played bishop b7 if black dares take the pawn then queen takes here knight takes can you see what white has in this position which is really really strong if i give you five seconds to pause the video here what would you play with white okay knight d takes b5 opens up the rook for coordination with the bishop and rook and if say f6 hitting the bishop then white still got knight c7 check will ultimately ultimately be winning material there so that's a poison pawn on queen takes for sure and the same kind of thing in operation here knight d takes and can you see what white has in this position Okay, to the, try and deflect the queen. There's queen takes e5, and this is this is crushing as well. There's inadequate defense for black in this position. So again, we have that mechanism with rook d8 checkmate, echoing Morphy's immortal opera game. So black sidesteps with bishop b7. Now we have a fascinating move by Mikhail Tell. Absolutely fascinating, with the king still in the center. Note the bishop seems to be a bit hemmed in by the queen here. So what would you play here with white if you were playing, trying to emulate Mikhail Tal? There's a very, very dangerous move causing huge problems for black. So if I give you five seconds here to pause the video, what would you play? Okay, the clue is this pawn formation, this pawn chain near the king is totally wrecked after the knight takes e6 whether this is sound or not is up for debate but it seems it's pretty good actually even with best play from black so here again there's no way to take there because it'll be like rook d8 at the end of it so we see f takes and now the point is to put more pressure on black here can you see what white plays here Okay, queen g4, just hitting e6, that last remnant of the pawns near to the king is attacked. Look at black's rooks, they're still not connected. A lot of the pieces are still at home. Now, possibly best, technically, would be to take the pawn here. It doesn't lose immediately. Bishop d3 is very, very scary, though. There's a rook here coming. And there's actually a, a killer threat in this position as well. 
If white had another move, for example, knight c6, then there's queen h5 mating. For example, we bishop takes or queen takes mating like that. So this is a really dangerous position that there are threats in this position because it's this knight sacrifice had weakened also this diagonal here as well as this one. Uh, so black though he wasn't uh, willing to take this pawn again we see queen b6 alas though this is really not good white plays an absolutely crushing move in this position absolutely crushing can you guess if i give you five seconds Okay, rook d6, trying to get that last pawn around the opponent's king, blocking the queen away from e6. If the queen moves, then just simply queen e6 is mating. So bishop takes d6 is played. And believe it or not, this is absolutely a forced mate in seven or less, this position. Forced mate in seven. So can you guess the next move? I hope you can. Queen takes e6 check. But now I'll give you a few seconds for this one. White to play. So I'll give you five seconds here. You don't want to give black too much time to do anything in this position. So what would you play here with white? Okay, I hope you found it. Bishop c4 immediately threatens a mate in one. It also means the rook can come to f1. So coordinating very well with the queen. So although knight takes e5 might defend the mate, there there's rook f1 check. And then what? It's a disaster. So actually black takes here. We see check. Now the only move really, which means anything, knight f6. There's one little final trick here for black. If e takes, then can you see what black can do? It would seem bishop f4 check could be handy for black to win the queen. But uh, Tao's not falling for that. <laughs> no, there's a really crushing, bone crushing move in this position to finish black off. Can you guess if I give you five seconds? Maybe so crushing he wanted to be anonymous for this game. In the Polgiavsky duration, gone wrong. Blame Polgiavsky. Maybe it was Polgiavsky. Just keeping his name hidden. So white to play here. Five seconds. What would you play with white? Rook takes f6. Absolutely forcing. G takes. And then, yes, check mate the queen and bishop elegantly coordinating very very beautiful aesthetic game one of the shortest i found in one of the one of the great michael tell game collections i discovered but one of the very rare ones where the opponent's names kept anonymous maybe for good reason okay this was the polgiavsky variation on a very very bad day against the wrong sort of player i hope you enjoyed this one comments or questions on youtube thanks very much